have you guys um, seen the uh, the zone site? Well, if you want to watch Joshua versus uh, Pavekin this weekend, you have to watch it on this site right here. Hold on one minute. There we go. Um, so it's fight week, man. You know, I can't put into words how happy I am to put um, Canelo versus uh, Golovkin behind us. And move on to uh, Joshua versus Pavekin. Then we got the uh, finals of the World Boxing Super Series. Then, you know, we got um, the next The Zone card on October the 6th. And, you know, on and on. So, we got no time to linger on the past. Now, we got to move on to WBO, WBA Super World, IBF, heavyweight champion in the world, Anthony A.J. Joshua. On Tree Controversy, this is Tree Controversy Live. We're going to take a look around the, um, it's called The Zone, but they spell it D-A-Z-N. Um, from now on, if you want to watch Joshua fights over here, I mean, in the States, you got to watch on this platform. In the long run, I'm very satisfied with it because we're going to get all the Eddie Hearn cards, all the matchroom cards all over the world. So for people, hardcore boxing fans and media alike, it makes us it makes it easier for us to be able to watch these fights without having to look for illegal streams and shit. And we're able to watch the full motherfucking cards. I love it. Between that and ESPN Plus picking up Frank Warren and all the other international fights, we got it made. Anyway, let's listen to this right here. I think this is the perfect time stamp from uh, Anthony Joshua over on... Um, um sky sports this was uh last week at the uh media workout for anthony joshua um and yeah we'll go from there i'll go from there parker is a world champion but uh, where would you put pavetkin amongst your other opponents people say he's a he could be a banana skin uh, i think that's, that's a wrong thing to tag him with like he could beat me yeah it's heavyweight boxing. Anything's possible, but I highly doubt it. But um, where do I put him? After Klitschko. Yeah. Just after Klitschko, yeah. Because Klitschko was the last one to beat him. So he's talented. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He's fought for the world title. Well, well, then again, Parker is a world champion. Yeah, maybe number three. Top three. I'll put him in my top three. I agree with that. Um, see, here's the thing. You know... Klitschko was on that layoff. I'm not discrediting a win. Don't come over here thinking I'm some Deontay Wilder fanboy. I cover the sport as a whole. You got Klitschko. You got Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker, to me, is a bigger win than Klitschko for his career. Even though Klitschko was the, was the marquee name, you know, but Joseph Parker was young in his prime. And it was, it was a boxing chess match. You know, people wanted the knockout. It didn't come, but I thoroughly enjoy that fight. It was it was high stakes. It was tense. In regards to Alexander Povetkin, he is a pressure fighter, power puncher. You know, the saying goes, "Don't hook with a hooker." He's thirty nine years old, though, almost forty. He's going to be forty. No, he just turned thirty nine last week, a couple of weeks ago. Um, right now it's twelve fourteen a.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, September the nineteenth, twenty eighteen. So. In uh, 13 hours, there's going to be the media workout or the public workout for both of these fighters. Um, we're going to be watching it and doing a uh, live chat here on um, the channel. What's this? It's a promo. And now, the defending world champion, Anthony Yeah, we got a busy week. We're going to be here for all this. The same thing I did with Canelo versus Golovkin last week. You know, and I've been doing this for years with my fights. But now it's different because of all the technology and tech that I have now. You know, but yeah, we're going to be covering the uh, tomorrow, the media workout in, you know, less than 13 hours. You know, we're going to be covering the, um, the um, uh, press conference. You know, we're going to be covering the weigh-in, and then, of course, the fight. And then after the fight, we're going to be doing a live stream. 
You know, so very, 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 very big weekend. But let's be honest. Do you think Anthony Joshua is the number one heavyweight in the world? Do you think that he's better than Deontay Wilder? I do. However, Deontay Wilder's power is unmatched. Man, that, that, that windmill shit that he does, nobody wants to be hit with that shit. That shit will fuck you up. Remember, he had the hand surgery, so now that shit's like bionic. He got like rebar and, you know, like fucking metal shit in there now, you know? The power of him is legit. Now, I'm done with the why the, 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 the Wilder fight didn't happen and all that. I'm confident that it's going to happen. Deontay Wilder's got to defeat Tyson Fury. We've been hearing for, you know, weeks now that it's going to be announced next week. It's going to be announced next week. It's going to be announced next week. Now, I know and, and I'm confident that the fight is going to happen. But fans are like, listen, we don't, we're not trying to hear none of that shit until we hear a venue ticket sale you know tickets when they're going to go on sale and all that shit it's going to happen on um showtime and bt sport both uh deontay wilder and uh tyson fury and their teams know that that fight has to go through and are going to look like fools the fight's going to go through in regard to anthony joshua listen you know as you can see my man need a cut you know he's been staying away from uh media stuff up until uh last week you know which was in my opinion a really good thing to do you know to really really focus in camp and focus on um um uh alexander pavekin because you may be looking at him and thinking he's a walk in the park dude is not in a walk in the park also i did an interview with alexander pavekin about a month and a half ago I'm, i wasn't real happy with the interview but i'm going to go ahead and upload it anyway you know to see um if people like it or not and plus i interview alexander pavekin so you know what the fuck might as well just upload it right um right now joshua's in a situation where you know he's being headhunted let's go look at it when you look at the 100 the heavyweight division and you look at the guys atop let's go full screen when you look at the guys atop the heavyweight division right deontay wilder obviously wbc when you look at Manuel Char, um, damn, wrong screen. Manuel Char, who's taking on uh, Fresno Quindo next week, September the 28th. We're going to be doing a fight week video, and we're going to be doing a, um, um, uh, uh, obviously covering the fight. And the winner of that is supposed to face Trevor Bryan, who's the WBA interim champion. So as it stands right now, Alexander Pavekin is the WBA mandatory. You're going to have Kubret Pulev take on Huey Fury to be the next IBF mandatory for Anthony Joshua. And that fight, believe it or not, the winner of that fight could possibly fight Anthony Joshua in Wembley and um, April the 13th if he beats Pavekin and spoils the plans of, uh, of um, uh, Anthony Joshua versus Dylan White or Anthony Joshua versus Wilder or Fury if it goes through. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to the WBO, the WBO announced that Alexander Povetkin was, it was news coming out that Alexander Povetkin was a WBA and the WBO mandatory, but turns out the WBO put news out that after Alexander, after Joshua versus Povetkin, they're going to order a WBO mandatory or WBO eliminator, which could be Dylan White versus anybody, or they could just order somebody to be um, the eliminator. I talked to Brian Jennings about that a few weeks ago. You know, at his fight or the press conference for his fight that took place over on um, um, uh, ESPN. So. I know over here in the States, you know, there's not really any buzz over here, you know, for the fight. You know, Eddie Hearn has already rubbed fans the wrong way with the Joshua Wilder stuff, especially since he's trying to launch a platform over here. You know, I support the platform because, for one, I've been asking for this for years. This is not something where it's like, oh, wow, yeah, we're getting, you know, streaming boxing. I've been asking for this for years because my niche on YouTube for the last several years I've been covering boxing has been covering international boxing. So it's a pain in the ass to be trying to watch a stream and it's buffering and it goes out at the end and all that shit. Now I'm digging happily have my $10. Take it. ESPN plus $5. Take it. You can, you can have it. I paid for um, Canelo versus uh, Golovkin twice this week and 170 bucks plus tax, you know, to be able to watch, you know, on my PC. Take it. I love giving to the sport. However, you know, I, I, I do I do have a bad, you know, feeling about this fight, man. 
you know, just a bad feeling. Let's go look it up a Vekin's resume real quick before we uh, bounce. Because remember, tomorrow we're going to be doing a live stream for those who want to come um, and watch the uh, media workout. And we're going to be talking about all this shit. You know, like the, the, the fight, the card. Here is his um, um, resume. As you know, you know, he's been involved in, you know, um, unfortunately, numerous PD scandals. The uh, Deontay Wilder one, by the way, has been um, has been taken care of, but I don't want to really want to get too deep into it. People say David Price gave him um, some issues, but let's be honest. I don't think he took David Price seriously. Christian Hammer is the fight where he fought to become the mandatory. Remember, um, Tyson Fury had beat him. These two fights right here between um, um, these three fights between uh, Wok, uh, U uh, Duopa, and Radinko were uh, comeback fights. He was also dealing with the uh, the PD scandal, right? Wait, it was it was the Duopa fight. The Duopa fight. He was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder in May of 2016. That's when that scandal started. Then he came back to fight Duopa. All right. You know, Mike Perez, who we last seen in the World Boxing Super Series at Cruiserweight. Carlos Takam, remember what happened with that fight with uh, Anthony Joshua. Manuel Char, now WBA world champion. We talked about him early in the video. Vladimir Klitschko was the last person to beat him in a nasty-ass fight, man. I, I was so hyped for that fight. I was so hyped for that fight, and it was a nasty, nasty, nasty. I, literally, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I thought they was going to start fucking. I thought it was going to be some homoerotic shit with that hugging and all that. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, This guy right here, Deontay Wilder, was supposed to fight him. But guess what? He failed the drug test, too. Asim Rahman, Marco Hook. Very controversial fight back then. Marco Hook had moved up to fight uh, Pavek and Ruslan Chagia, former WBA world champion. Before uh, he beat Lucas Brown, beat him. Remember, th this guy is the reason. Him and Fresno Quindo, it, it traces back to this. After it, it I don't want to talk about it. Nikolai Further, Wilder fought him. You know, this is a respectable at Eddie Chambers, Chris Bird. Very, 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 very seasoned and respectable, respected resume. But once again, his career is. Clouded by the PD allegations, man. You know, David Benavidez um, got popped for cocaine, according to the WBC. You know, recently, WBC 168-pound uh, champion. But we're going to see. You know what I noticed is that a lot of people saying they're not going to buy the zone and all that, and they're not going to be watching the Joshua Povekin fight. The motherfuckers going to be watching they talking that shit now. They're going to be watching the fight. I'm going to be sitting here doing like I do with every single major fight. Covering that shit live. Calling it like it is. Calling it like it is. But I hope AJ is careful, man. He's saying he's not overlooking Pavekin. Also, I'm interested to see um, uh, what weight he's going to come in at. Remember, he came in. Um, what was he for? 242 for Joseph Parker after he was a career high 254 pounds. Remember, he started his career 229, right? 230, you know, lowest he'd been was 229. People were saying he was getting too big and everything. And he was. You know, people were wondering if he can go 12 rounds. And he held up, went 12 rounds with Joseph Parker. You know, I was thinking like, man, dude, you know, has been showing conditioning issues. Like Anthony Joshua, even though a lot of times I'd be thinking like, man, he always like got always the right shit to say. You know, like lacks charisma to an extent. A lot of hardcore boxing fans, male boxing fans, really feel he lacks charisma because he's always saying like the right shit. It just seems scripted and fake. I'm not saying it is that way, and I know it's going to be it's th th that part right there is going to is, is 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 really really going to ruffle the hairs on a lot of people's vaginas and balls because they're just so you know into Anthony Joshua. I'm not slighting him, dude is the man. But however, you got to understand that the man has some flaws. Or, you know, he does some things that, you know, not all are going to agree with. But, hey, that's life. I do shit that people don't agree with. That is life. Let's listen to this. I think this is the last part we can listen to. Good shot. Oh, it's a good shot. I mean, given the fact that the heavyweight landscape is changing so much at the moment. Mm. I mean, you talked about 
maybe changing your approach for this fight, maybe going back to the, the old AJ where we <laughs> saw the, the big explosive punch. I mean, we, you proved to everybody. Yeah. That's what he's going to talk about, you know, like the weight and how people were saying, like, look, I can't. Listen, pay attention. Shh, shut up, man. You're always talking. Like a fight that you know how to box. Yeah. And I think you maybe wanted to prove a point there to some, some, oh, some of extent. Course. So are we going to see the more explosive yeah. AJ for this? Do you want to go and knock him out? I do, time? because in that Parker fight, right, there's always that air around my name saying, he can fight, he's tough, he can bang, but he'll probably gas out after nine rounds. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So naturally, as a young fighter coming through, you listen to all that nonsense. So you want to prove to the world. Some of it comes from him. <laughs> yeah. No. Do you know what? Even for that Parker Don't fight. Blame me. Remember, he's a champion as well. So there was a lot of talk around my name, his name. He's the fastest heavyweight in the division. He's fit, Samoan power. I'm like, whoa, I'm against, I'm against like a real, a real threat here. So I acknowledge that. I don't go into overconfidence, so I'm clever. I went around and I proved that to myself. So not only could someone say to me, yeah, they know I can fight. I proved that when I, bought, when I beat Klitschko. I proved that with Dylan. I can go through the trenches. But now with the Parker fight, I proved I can box. I can sustain energy. I can go 12 rounds. Now with- True. 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 You know, it's proving us all wrong, right? You know, but that's, like I said, that's boxing, you know. We're learning something new. Like with Canelo, you know, we saw his evolution as a boxer. Where people say he wouldn't be able to do this, he wouldn't be able to do that. I'm getting better with time. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, public weigh-in. Oh, you know what? Workout. Um, we got to talk about the card. We ain't talking about my man Cool Hand Luke. Versus Javon Mindy, the rematch, the go feature. Looking forward to this one. WBC number one contendership in line. Matty Askin versus Lawrence O'Cauley. David Price back on the card. Look at this very, very small card. But remember, uh, Joshua versus Klitschko didn't have that many fights either. You know? Let's hope this doesn't end, go like uh, like Canelo versus Golovkin, where you got to wait an hour and a half for the main event to start because they end in all, all the fights in the knockouts. That's going to be horrible, right? That's going to be a disaster. But you can buy the zone for nine. To, you know what? I'm going to put all the information down below in the description box. You can get the uh, zone for $9.99 a month and also... It's uh, free for the first month, so you can watch this fight free. Obviously, they're going to want your credit card information or your uh, PayPal. And to Tony and um, Rob and the team, I'm going to get that information over to you, you know, um, the login stuff. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.